Next on PIJN News, Dr. Chaps reports on these important issues. A Catholic cardinal blasts the transgender agenda as demonic. A Christian law firm asked Virginia's Supreme Court to block a transgender policy. And a female security guard is accused of hate crimes after removing a man from the women's restroom. Former Navy Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt took a stand to defend religious freedom by daring to pray publicly in Jesus' name. Now he helps you by reporting the news, discerning the spirits, and praying the scriptures. Would you pray with us? Here's Dr. Chaps. God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt, Dr. Chaps, and you're watching PIJN News. On this show, we like to do three things. We report the news, we discern the spirits, and we pray the scriptures in Jesus' name. Are you ready to pray the news with us? Here's our first story. A top Vatican cardinal, a Catholic cardinal bishop, is now blasting the transgender agenda as demonic. Breitbart.com reports that in a Washington DC prayer breakfast last Tuesday, a high-ranking Vatican cardinal denounced homosexual marriage and transgender bathroom laws and other attacks on the family as demonic. In his forceful address, Cardinal Robert Serra, who runs the Vatican's powerful liturgical department, said that these are portentous times for the church and for the world, while slamming homosexual gender theory as ideological colonization and decrying the insidious demantling of religious freedom in the United States. Regarding homosexual marriage, for example, Cardinal Bishop Robert Serra said the following, quote, what is at stake is not about an ideological war, about abstract ideas, but rather the protection of ourselves, children, and future generations from a demonic ideology that says children do not need mothers and fathers. End quote. The outspoken African Cardinal, who has been dubbed the standard bearer for Catholic Orthodoxy, was the world's youngest bishop in 1979, when Pope John Paul II summoned him to don the mitre at only 34 years of age. He is now one of the most important cardinals in the church as the prefect of the Vatican Congregation for Divine Worship, and his name often comes up on the short list of papabili or papal candidates to eventually succeed Pope Francis. As keynote speaker at the annual National Catholic Prayer Breakfast held in Washington, D.C. last Tuesday, Cardinal Serra spoke to a large crowd that included numerous other Catholic bishops and members of the United States Congress. He also said the following, quote, good becomes evil, beauty is ugly, love becomes the satisfaction of sexual primal instincts, and truths are all relative. The battle to preserve the root of mankind is perhaps the greatest challenge our world has faced since its origins. The legalization of homosexual marriage, the obligation to accept contraception with healthcare programs, and even bathroom bills that allow men to use the women's restrooms and locker rooms. Should not a biological man use the men's room? How simpler can that concept be?" End quote. Cardinal Serra additionally said that cohabitations and homosexual unions are, quote, distorted impositions of the family, and together with separation and divorce, leave a deep wound that closes the heart to self-giving love, while often leading to cynicism and despair. These situations cause damage to the little children through inflicting upon them a deep existential doubt about love. They are a scandal a stumbling block that prevent the most vulnerable from believing in such love." End quote. The Cardinal further criticized the US Supreme Court for imposing homosexual marriage upon the American nation, observing that, quote, it can never be a truthful solution, but rather like putting bandages on an infected wound. All manner of immorality is not only accepted and tolerated today in advanced societies, but even promoted as a social good. The result is hostility to Christians and increasingly religious persecution. 
I encourage you to truly make use of the freedom willed your founding, by your founding fathers, lest you lose it, end quote. Well, that's the news. Our thanks to Breitbart for those quotes and our thanks to Cardinal Bishop Rod, Robert Serra for your courageous stand, sir, and for your ability to discern the spirits. Now, he called it demonic. Let's take a moment and talk about discerning of the spirits. There are humans involved in this story, but there are also invisible spirits, the Holy Spirit on one side, gracing us or tempting us to do good. And the evil spirits, the demonic spirits, as Cardinal Sarah called them, on the other side, tempting us to do evil. And when you see the culture war in America, when you see some people, humans, advocating for sin, are they not being influenced and are they not manifesting the demonic spirit that whispers in their ear? And not just outside of them, now it's inside of them, tempting the world and manifesting, you can see the evil spirit right inside of them. And Cardinal Sarah agrees. And this is traditional Catholic theology. This is not some hocus pocus thing that Dr. Chaps invented or made up. You know, I've studied this for years. I wrote my PhD in a dissertation on the gift of discerning of spirits, uh, early church theology, the Bible, especially in 1 John 4, and all throughout the book of John, tells us that we must discern the evil spirits among us. Test the evil spirits. In fact, let's read that scripture. The Bible says in 1 John 4, verses 1, 2, 3, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. That is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. Let's take a moment to pray about this. Would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we do pray in Jesus' name and we discern the evil spirits in the world among us. And thank God for men like Cardinal uh, Robert Sarah, who is courageous enough to speak the truth, to discern the demonic spirits in the movement that is now bringing confusion to America, the transgender movement and the homosexual marriage movement. And Father, we pray against the demonic spirits that are behind that and within the people who advocate for that. Father, we pray for the Holy Spirit to be revealed in righteous men like Cardinal Sarah. Father, we pray that righteousness for the sake of love, for the sake of the children, for the sake of those who deserve one mom and one dad, Father, we pray that they will be protected through American policy. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Let's take a short break. When we come back, a Christian law firm is asking the Virginia Supreme Court to block their transgender policy. Giving you a megaphone in Washington, D.C. Dr. Chaps will be right back. How can you discern the thoughts in your own mind from the thoughts that come to you from the Holy Spirit or from angels or from invisible demons? I'm Dr. Chaps. And you've seen us on this show talk about the gift of discerning of spirits. Maybe you know that I wrote my PhD dissertation entitled How to See the Holy Spirit and Angels and Demons. And it's all about this important topic of receiving the gift of discerning of spirits. How can you discern the thoughts that come to you? How do you know to learn to hear the voice of God and discern that from the demonic voice which tempts us to sin? Well, this is an important skill, and it will change your ministry. It'll change your life, which is why we've created now not just a book, but a 17-part video Bible study on a four-disc DVD set that we would like to send to you and your church and your family and your small group. This important Bible study series goes through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. How did Jesus discern the spirits? How did the Apostle Paul discern the spirits? What does the Old Testament say about demons and the Holy Spirit and angels? When you learn to discern, it will transform your life and your ministry. Please visit our website, PrayInJesusName.org, and get this important video resource. Or call us toll-free at 866-Obey-God, and for a suggested donation of $99, 
We'll give you the entire 17-part Bible study series for just $99. And if you order today, we'll throw in the book for free. Visit our website, PrayInJesusName.org, or call us toll-free at 866-Obey-God. Get this important Bible study series for your family. Call today. He is the intersection of church and state. Here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back, and thank you for watching PIJN News. I'm Dr. Chaps. A Christian law firm is now asking the Commonwealth of Virginia and their Supreme Court to block an LGBT transgender policy. Liberty Council's press release reports that last Wednesday, the Christian law firm Liberty Council filed a petition for appeal, requesting that the Virginia Supreme Court hear the case against a school board of Fairfax County regarding its illegal policy involving sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression. Virginia's civil rights laws explicitly prohibit local governing bodies from altering the state's non-discrimination policy. But the Fairfax County Circuit Court previously wrongfully dismissed Liberty Council's lawsuit, claiming that a minor, his parents, and a local taxpayer did not have standing to sue. In effect, the Circuit Court said that the minor who now must have his educational rights diminished and his privacy invaded by being forced to share the bathroom, locker room, and showers with members of the opposite sex, suffers no injury under the policy modifications. Liberty Council is asking the Virginia Supreme Court to hear this case and to reverse the trial court's ruling, which leaves minors in Fairfax County subject to unconstitutional violations of their privacy and their right to education. Matt Staver, our friend and founder and chairman of Liberty Council said the following, quote, Virginia law requires uniformity throughout the state to avoid a patchwork of conflicting laws at the local level. The school board act of adding gender identity, expression, and sexual orientation to the local policy violates state law and harms children. Allowing boys to use private facilities for girls violates the right to privacy and places girls at risk of sexual abuse. The strength of America's foundation is that no school may disregard our laws. Just as a board may not remove race or religion from its non-discrimination clause, it cannot add groups that are not recognized by the Virginia legislature. The officials tasked with protecting children in the public schools have now actually become the greatest threat to them with the imposition of this radical sexual agenda." End quote. Well, our thanks to Matt Staver and Liberty Council for that press release. You know, there is uh, a conflict here and, and the way I understand it, Fairfax County took the law into their own hands and they're now violating the state of Virginia's law of course, the, the law of the entire Commonwealth of Virginia is that you cannot discriminate based on race, cannot discriminate based on gender, but they have left this whole idea of sexual orientation and gender identity not protected under state law. So now if this Fairfax County law says, oh, well, we're a county, we don't care what state law says, we're gonna impose co-ed bathrooms on these innocent children, and we're gonna do that because we're a liberal county and we think we have more power than the state law. They don't have that power, they're inventing it and they're putting the, the safety and the privacy of these innocent grade school children or high school children in jeopardy. They're saying, no, you are being forced now to share co-ed bathrooms and you're gonna be forced women to be sexually violated by these other confused people who want to come in and expose themselves to you, that's wrong. And it's a violation of women's rights and girls' rights and women's safety and girls' safety. And the Democrats in the Fairfax County party who are imposing this should be ashamed of themselves for violating the innocence of little girls. The Bible says this in Deuteronomy chapter 22, a woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man, 
nor shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all who do so are an abomination to the Lord your God. Let's pray about this. Would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we do pray in Jesus' name that you will continue to give us victory over the persecutors, over the violators of the innocence of little girls, especially in Fairfax County. Father, we pray for Liberty Council and we discern the Spirit of God upon Matt Staver and his team that are continuing to fight for privacy rights, for the safety of little girls, to enforce even the state law of Virginia. Father, we pray the Virginia Supreme Court would not only take up this case and hear it, but would rule the right way and would protect the innocence of little girls. Father, we pray this blessing upon the entire Commonwealth of Virginia in Jesus' name, amen. Let's take one more short break. When we come back, a female security guard is accused of hate crimes because she removed a man from the women's bathroom. Dr. Chaps will be right back with more PIJN News. Do you ever pray and sometimes you feel like your prayers are hitting the ceiling and they don't get to God or maybe you don't get the result that you hoped for? I'm Dr. Chaps and I wanna make available to you a new resource, a four part video Bible teaching series on how to pray effective prayers. Did you know God has given us instructions in the Bible? For example, in 1 Timothy 2, there are four different Greek words for four different kinds of prayers, supplication, petition, intercession, and thanksgiving. If you don't understand the way God teaches us to pray, then we cannot expect the result for which we hope. I'm asking you to get this important Bible video teaching series on DVD for a suggested donation of only $30. Call us right now at 866-Obey-God. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Or visit our website, PrayInJesusName.org and get this important video resource for your family. Call us right now. Do you ever wonder how to discern your own thoughts from the thoughts that come to you from the Holy Spirit or angels or invisible demons? I'm Dr. Chaps and you've seen us talk about the gift of discerning of spirits. In fact, I wrote my PhD dissertation, How to See the Holy Spirit, Angels and Demons. But now we have an exciting 17 part video Bible study on a four disc DVD set that you can get for your small group or your church. If you just visit PrayInJesusName.org and offer a suggested donation of $99. Or call us toll free at 866-Obey-God, get this 17 part video series and for a limited time only, we'll throw in the book for free. Visit PrayInJesusName.org, get this important Bible study series for you and your church or call us at 866-Obey-God right now. He is the intersection of church and state. Here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back and thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Chaps. A security guard who happens to be female has been arrested and now faces accusations of hate crimes, not just because she did her job and followed her own company's policy, but because she dared to remove a man from the women's restroom in Washington, D.C. LifeSite News reports that a female security guard has been arrested and faces being charged with a potential hate crime because she did her job by removing a biological male from a women's restroom in our nation's capital in Washington, D.C. The unnamed guard asked the so-called transgender man to leave the women's bathroom. The store is called Giant, and apparently Giant has a good policy of removing men from ladies' bathrooms. They are located, this store was located near the intersection of H and Third Street Northeast in Washington, D.C. The event happened around noon last week, Monday, when a 32-year-old man who goes by the name of Ebony Belcher and dresses like a woman went into the ladies' restroom and refused to leave. So, apparently one of the women in there were offended. They called the store security. The store has a policy of removing men from ladies' restrooms and they sent in their security guard who was hired to do this kind of work. 
happens to be a woman walked into the women's restroom to escort the man out of the building. But the transgender crossdresser said that the woman told him, quote, you guys cannot keep coming in here and using our women's restroom. They did not pass the law yet. Well, apparently it's true that there is no law allowing men to use women's restrooms. And so this security guard was in the right by enforcing the existing law. But an eyewitness, Tony Pixley, told WJLA TV that the altercation then turned physical. And the two were, quote, getting into it and throwing stuff. They went back and forth. After being expelled from the store, the crossdresser Belcher contacted a longtime transgender activist. According to local NBC Channel 4, a man who identifies as a female and goes by the name Earline Bud. So now Belcher is talking to Bud, a couple of men who dress like women, when Bud told Belcher, you better call the police. So they did call the police. And guess what happened when the police showed up in liberal Washington, D.C.? The police, not enforcing any law that protects a man's right to use a bathroom, instead, they arrested the security guard for allegedly committing assault by physically removing the man from the ladies' restroom. The police report now lists it as a potential hate crime because you might be discriminating against men who want to use ladies' restrooms. And the city's Office of Homosexual Affairs is watching the case, NBC4 reports. The store, by the way, Giant, a local grocery or food store, released a statement about the guard who was employed by an independent security company directing all comments to local police. But at least one individual said the guard's action was just enforcing common sense. One of the female shoppers at the giant store, Deanna Chisholm, told WJLA, quote, you got a male body part, go into the men's bathroom. If you're born a woman, go into the women's bathroom, period. Well, that's the news. Our thanks to LifeSite News for that report and also the other two news sources that they, uh, NBC and WJLA, that they cited. You know, there is a lot of confusion being forced upon us by the liberal left these days, but they cannot overcome the truth. The truth of God's word, the truth of the Bible, particularly Jesus himself when he said in Matthew 19, have you not read that from the beginning God defined the male and female, God made gender. And for us to reject the gender that God made us with is just basically liberals thumbing their nose at God. They hate their creator and therefore they hate themselves and they hate their own gender that God created them to be. And they, they transform their hatred of God into self-hatred. They hate not only the creator, but now they hate their own God's creation. They hate themselves. And they begin to demand, I suppose, that society join them in lying about their own identity. And we're not gonna lie, we're gonna speak the truth. We're gonna continue to proclaim the truth of God's word. For example, in 2 Timothy 4. And the Bible predicted this. This is a sign of the end times, right? There will be a time that will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. Let's pray about this. Would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we pray that as these end times approach, that righteous and innocent people like this good security guard will be vindicated and will be protected for doing their job. Father, we pray that the perverts who want to abuse the innocence of little girls and violate the security and privacy of women that we should be protecting as society, Father, we pray that the violators will be prosecuted for hate. Not the righteous doers, but the violators. Father, we pray for truth to prevail and sound doctrine to prevail in our society. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's take a short break and I'll have a word to conclude the show. Dr. Chaps will be right back with more PIJN News. 
Do you ever pray and sometimes you feel like your prayers are hitting the ceiling and they don't get to God or maybe you don't get the result that you hoped for? I'm Dr. Chaps and I want to make available to you a new resource, a four-part video Bible teaching series on how to pray effective prayers. Did you know God has given us instructions in the Bible? For example, in 1 Timothy 2, there are four different Greek words for four different kinds of prayers, supplication, petition, intercession, and thanksgiving. If you don't understand the way God teaches us to pray, then we cannot expect the result for which we hope. I'm asking you to get this important Bible video teaching series on DVD for a suggested donation of only $30. Call us right now at 866-Obey-God. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Or visit our website, PrayInJesusName.org and get this important video resource for your family. Call us right now. Do you ever wonder how to discern your own thoughts from the thoughts that come to you from the Holy Spirit or angels or invisible demons? I'm Dr. Chaps and you've seen us talk about the gift of discerning of spirits. In fact, I wrote my PhD dissertation, How to See the Holy Spirit, Angels and Demons. But now we have an exciting 17 part video Bible study on a four disc DVD set that you can get for your small group or your church. If you just visit PrayInJesusName.org and offer a suggested donation of $99. Or call us toll free at 866-Obey-God. Get this 17 part video series and for a limited time only, we'll throw in the book for free. Visit PrayInJesusName.org. Get this important Bible study series for you and your church. Or call us at 866-Obey-God right now. Stay tuned for the end of our show to learn how to partner with this ministry. Here's Dr. Chaps. Thank you for watching. Please donate if you can. Visit PrayInJesusName.org. The Bible says in Proverbs 11, there's one who scatters yet increases more, one who withholds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters himself will also be watered. The generous soul will be made rich. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Chaplain Klingenschmidt is a graduate of the U.S. Air Force Academy who earned his Ph.D. in theology from Regent University. As a former Navy chaplain, by taking a public stand for freedom of speech and religious expression, and by sacrificing his own 16-year career and million-dollar pension, he was vindicated by the U.S. Congress, who changed the law and restored freedom for military chaplains to pray in Jesus' name. Dr. Chaps not only defended the Constitution, but his petitions have helped change the law in 10 states, restoring freedom to pray in Jesus' name. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now at 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.